It's a 2008 Chrysler PT Cruiser. The right front caliper, I don't know if it locked down or if the brake pad locked down. Either, either way, it got the rotor and everything so hot that it ruined it. So, I went ahead and put a new right front caliper and bracket and rotor brake pads and hose on the right front. And in this one, I show how to change the left front. Hopefully, this video will help you be able to change it yourself and hopefully change and save you some money. So I put a new rotor, rebuilt caliper and bracket and new brake pads on the right front. So this, ro this caliper had locked down or a brake pad had or something. And it uh, got everything extremely hot. See how it burned? Yeah, I actually think it burned the brake pad. So uh, I changed that rotor and that caliper. In my own experience, it was just not that great of an experience. You know, not that large. And like I've worked on hundreds of them. But on the four or five PT cruisers I have worked on, this seems to be a very common problem. The right front brake caliper started hanging up. And I went ahead and changed that side, and I should have, I guess I should have filmed that one, but I'm changing this side too, that driver's side. So, I decided that I would try to show a way to change these uh, brake calipers. I'm not changing this rotor. I probably should, but I changed the other rotor because it got so hot that I have some cracks in it and this one's still okay so in this case anyway first thing I'm doing here I've already broke everything loose because shit was tight this is an 11 millimeter line going into the brake hose this bolt is a 10 on this car. Now, you go ahead and remove this bolt and this bolt. They're 18s and that holds the caliper bracket to the knuckle. hook your pry bar on the lip of the brake pad and pry the caliper open. Pushing the caliper back in. Let's let's it slide off the rotor. It's smooth. It's just got a lip. The other one was chattering. All right, so the best way I've found to do this, and there's multiple different ways to do it, but the best way for me to do this and show it and just in general, in general do it, I put the new hose on, tighten the bolt and tighten the line, have it hanging there, 
go ahead and these calipers came with the bracket and they're already attached and it's just easier what well, came off of a rusty card in it but it's just easier for me to go ahead and put the bolts back in the bracket and it makes it easier to stick two lug nuts on the rotor so it don't flop around. I gotta let this down for a sec, the phone down for a second so I can start these bolts, all right? Okay, so I've got them started. Now there's a torque for this. I don't know what it is. So. Basically as tight as you can go. Click. Click. For extra click, you can grab this old cam. Smack her once. Hammer works too. That's the only damn thing Ecotech's good for. So now it's time to put these shims on. I'll try to show you this. All right, so you have these weird looking little stainless shims. The spikes go toward this section like that or go down on this one that was just a little bit too hard to show while i'm using one hand but put the brake pad on it will hold a little shim in place then Start them in about the same time. Squeeze them in toward the rotor. Make sure these little ears are up, kind of like that. Then make sure your new caliper looks good. So I got the top bolt in, taking the other new bolt, push the little sleeve line it up with the bolt. I'm using a 9 16 for this, but it's probably a 13. Okay, let's find out if it was a 13. Yeah, it's probably not, it's probably a 13, but. This is loose, so it don't have to be that tight. Those little springs are supposed to be in a track. A little groove in that caliper keeps the brake pads from coming out. I know I ain't necessarily the best at making videos, but this is just, you know, like I've said before, trying to make a video that I figure Mike could at least 
show somebody enough that have no clue on how to do this enough to be able to do this and there's also a torque for that but I don't have it it ain't that tight though it's just a little bolt so click All right, now you gotta get the brake bolt, the bolt out of the caliper you just took off to put this one back on. Show you more in a second here. This is what that bolt looks like. I guess if you want to, make sure it ain't got any rust on it. Take, uh, take Your new caliper should come with a crush washer, with two of them. Put one on that side. And the other one. On that side of it. Then with your third hand, hold the brake line so you can hold your phone and see what you're doing. Make sure the bolts start as straight in the back of the caliper because you do not want to strip that out. On this one, it's a 15 millimeter. you're doing is you're crushing two copper crush washers with that bolt so you have to tighten it tight enough to do that but at the same time you don't want to tighten it too tight and break the bolt showing bleeding the brakes because I'm thinking brake fluid's probably not good for a cell phone and when I first tried it it got all over it so what I did is this is a piece of hose off of a uh, master cylinder bleeding kit I stuck it on the bleeder barely loosened the line put about half a bottle of brake fluid in that And then pump the brakes until there wasn't any air bubbles coming out of the out of the hose. You can see where I kind of had the hose come off once. So difficult by yourself. I got them bled. Classic hits. One oh two seven. All right. So got the brakes bled. Got the car let down. I changed the oil. Now we're doing a uh, bad blame car tattletailed on me. Anyway, now we're doing a test drive. As a recap, it's got a new right front rotor caliper 
caliper bracket, hose, and brake pads, and a new left front caliper, caliper bracket, hose, and brake pads. So the only thing I didn't change is the left front rotor. Let's see how this thing runs. Pretty good. Hey, I'll try the brakes. Stop you. So that was my PT Cruiser brake caliper video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And see you next time.